Modern, versatile shooting platforms like the AR rifle are at home just about anywhere, but one place I've never shot them is inside a cave. That's what we're going to do today in Park City, Kentucky at the Rock Castle Shooting Center. I have a Smith & Wesson M&P 15 Mo SL rifle here, and it's mounted with a unique new device from Crimson Trace called Link. It's a wireless controller in this replacement grip, and it's a rail-mounted light and laser unit here on the fore end. There are no wires, no tape switches, just wireless communication between the two to allow you to run through four modes of operation. We're gonna go down underground and shoot inside of a cave that should demonstrate how well a, a system can work in much less than ideal conditions. Crimson Trace is based in Oregon. We manufacture more than 250 lights, laser systems, and everything for various handguns, uh, long guns. We've got about half dozen platforms, everything from uh, laser guards, laser grips for 1911s, uh, for this popular Smith & Wesson J frames, and now we've come out with a new link system, which is able to fit on most manufactured or MSR rifles or AR type rifles. I'm here with Mike Fall. Mike is Media Relations Manager for Crimson Trace. And Mike, tell us, I know that through the, through the time that we've followed Crimson Trace, which is from the beginning, basically since 1994, when the first units uh, that were put on handguns were developed by the company, you know, throughout that time, I know there have been uh, products that have jumped up and made sort of a new plateau for the company technologically. I think Link is one of those products, and I think you'd probably agree with that. Tell me how Link works and what it is. It's definitely our newest product and our newest platform. So Link is a control grip, and it's wireless remote control that runs the module down here. So with this grip and the module button, Brian, you can make the module out here go through laser only, light only, light and laser, and then laser and strobe light. So this runs all of that up there and it does have Crimson Trace patented instinctive activation to operate it. So it's perfect that you don't have to look around or be concerned about wires. You don't have to be concerned about finding the pad in the dark or in a hurry to operate it. Just touch a button and it comes on. But if you decide you want to just reach up here like some people do and they want to run their accessories out here on the front of the rail, there's also a button on you the back that permits operation of that. Button so yes, right here. Yeah. Button right on the back that you push in there. But it is Link. It has 256 different encryption codes that it can run through. So this control is paired with that module. Okay. And they come from the factory that way. And so guys on say, you got you got these things with guys with a SWAT unit or you got a good team of guys working with these things. One guy's controller can't a accidentally activate somebody no, else's light. No chance it's going to interfere with okay. anybody else's product. They're okay. both paired to each other. The idea for Link was actually being developed by Crimson Trace well before wireless technology, you know, moved into telephones and running uh, gadgets in the home and everybody became enamored by the fact that, oh, you don't need a wire or remote control to run this. Uh, Crimson Trace was working on that technology. For anybody familiar with Crimson Trace uh, laser grips, for instance, or rail masters, or for that matter, laser guards, all of the, the switching, uh, the power switch right here, uh, like you said, the front uh, or instinctive activation, the single button in the front, all of that is, is, is pretty much familiar. And, and having just shot in the cave down below us, I can tell you, I had no problem picking it up and learning how to use it literally just immediately. As you saw down in the cave, it's easy to operate and then it's instantly you can turn a light on and a laser and you're looking for a target. But as this gun you can see has no rifle scope or anything else on it, it's easy to get on target and shoot and you don't even have to naturally get your head down because the laser's already sighted in for where you're going to be shooting. So for guys who have been used to having to mount tape switches and run cords on their ARs and such, this That's, eliminates all that, that and, and, and it is sold as a, as, a, as a complete set with the front unit and the, and the controller in the back. They not only come uh, boxed as a complete set with the control unit and the module, uh, they come with the wrenches and they come with the bolt to put everything on. So you can make all the adjustments, you can install it yourself. It's easy to take the grip off of any standard AR and put this one on and then convert or attach the module to any type of rail out at the front.
Well, I've had a chance to shoot some of the rifles here at Rock Castle now that are equipped with the Crimson Trace Link system. And in fact, they were AR-15 platform rifles from Smith & Wesson. And here we have Corey Boudreau, who's an inventory control manager with Smith & Wesson. Corey, tell us a little bit about the platform that you had here at this event and uh, how it's particularly suited for the Link system. Sure, Brian. This is actually a sneak peek from our 2017 catalog. Uh, this is our co-branded Magpul MP15 fitted with the uh, Magpul original equipment uh, slimline stock in the foregrip. Now the foregrip is, uh, it's got the Magpul M-lock, so we got that the six o'clock position, the three o'clock, and the nine o'clock position. Um, five bar rifled barrel, uh, one and eight twist, Armonite on the inside and outside, incredibly accurate. Uh, flash suppressor that uh, patented designed by Smith & Wesson Engineering. Uh, which was phenomenal when we were shooting through the caves yesterday. Absolutely, yeah. Um, very comfortable, very accurate shooting rifle right here. Now, of course, Link at this point is is uh, is only going to be available initially for the AR platform. But from your perspective as a rifle manufacturer, who who is a significant rifle manufacturer of ARs, you know, what do you? How, how do you? And I know you're a competitive shooter. How do you feel like Link really jumps up? the AR platform. Sure, I was I was ex incredibly excited about Link just because to me this is a, a another step up in a plateau. Um, the technology of, of wirelessly connecting to your your light, um, being able to actually uh, actuate the light and laser from your control hands, you know, where you're manipulating the trigger and, and the rifle's uh, control group, um, not having to use your off hand to, to turn everything on. Mm -hmm. As we were sweeping through those caves, it was it's, it was instinctively actuating the light and laser and hitting the targets. It was it was so much more melding of the, the shooter to the gun. Sure. So Crimson Trace laser sighting technology has developed and has progressed a long ways in the last two decades the company's been in business. Uh, the first guns that had laser sighting system installed by Crimson Trace Jacks, I had to send the firearm in. And now we've evolved to just attachments and accessories you can put on the firearm. And Link is just another step in that progression where it's wireless controls of a module that's uh, separated and no connection by wires or no pads to activate or anything else. So uh, another 20 years from now, as laser sights and the diodes and everything develop and become smaller and battery technology changes, it's only going to be more improvements for the customer.